an eventful affair here at Notts County. How do you begin to describe what happened? Um, so really, really interesting game I thought from many parts. So for the majority of the first half, didn't think there was a huge amount in it. Um, I just thought we looked quite threatening without probably the belief you need to, to get over the line. And, and at times we play a bit safe, um, but got into promising positions. And then we concede from a cross, which a corner, which to be honest, just one player stays in. The organisation's great, it's an individual mistake, it's a cross. Then they score from the one time we never went on the trigger to press, and then we got caught, but it's still preventable. Two crosses, you end up 2-0 down. And you walk in at half time and you think like we've we've had the one where Teddy gets in, he just has to square it, Troy taps it in, and at the other end, they're going in. And it's those clinical moments where you're looking, thinking, we're not far away, this is supposed to be the best team in the league. And you're two nil down to two crosses and really two individual mistakes. Um, so we went in at half time and there were some words said by the players to each other, not not from me. Listen, I don't think there was huge problems with a lot of the, the performance, and and it was all about playing forward, being braver, like being like showing a little bit of arrogance because we're a good team with some good players in. And I thought the players, I thought we absolutely murdered them second half. Listen, they have a bit more physicality and, and speed, and we know that at the moment, and we're going to have to get better at it and, and find players that can do it. And their two goals are so disappointing, really. For, again, it's like somebody's just let somebody in on the inside and their cutback goes in where ours in the first half doesn't and then uh, a breakaway goal where we probably don't need to rush the pass we can delay it and they probably no chance but I thought we murdered them second half and, and they, but we chucked the game away really for our individual mistakes there's no big system errors here it's just individual mistakes and and some of its belief some of its confidence some of it people just have to do better at their jobs and, and once we get that then we've gone toe to toe with probably one of the best teams in the league and show we're not that far off with seven injuries well it was an outstanding second half performance and you can't imagine many teams will come to maybe the best team in the league and, and go toe to toe with them on their own patch no exactly that and listen those, those traveling supporters deserve to watch something that Listen, you're trying to win every game and obviously we need to win more games than what we are right now, but they deserve to see a team trying to win the game and wherever you go, you showed the right amount of respect to a very, very good team with some outstanding individuals for this level. Um, and they travel all their way, they pay all their money and they deserve to see a team trying to win the game and then we did that. Now, we make mistakes and I knew, like I said, the very, very first interview, I knew it wouldn't be all straightforward. I knew there'd be some ups and downs, but... I think what we can see is the makings of a good team. Now, we keep saying it, but we've got to get over the line a couple of times. And I just think the belief and I, I think a bit of arrogance. I think we go into our shell um, early in games and we don't need to. We need to take control of games. And once we do that, I think, I think we'll start getting more and more points. Listen, I think anybody that was here today or watched on TV at home will see we're a good team. We are a good team, but points really reflect the, probably the quality in both boxes and at the moment we haven't got enough in our far more promising situations than them than what they had and that was the difference today. You mentioned arrogance a few times, how, how do you get arrogance in a swagger, how does that come about? I think by training properly every single day for a long period of time because I think um, confidence and consistency comes from every day what you do and then when your behaviours and your your training every day is right then I think then you go into games knowing that you've prepared properly now since I've come in they have whether they have in the past that's not for me to worry about and I think we've bar a game and a half I think we've produced really good performances not maybe not for full 90 minutes but but for long periods in each game we have to keep working I, I've got more belief after watching the last couple of weeks than than I had even before and I had loads before um, but there's individual details or individual players that need to step up to the mark because we can't give easy goals away that end and have to score three away at Notts County and still come away with nothing. That's, that's not acceptable. So we'll train hard um, again Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday this week and then we'll go to Morecambe who again are doing really well at the moment and try and uh, force our style on them. So speak about arrogance and how much did Troy's arrogance and Swagger come through, I suppose it shows he can be a talisman for this team, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I think he stepped up, didn't he? he what I thought it was been really interesting as the weeks have gone on, he's ended up getting stronger and stronger physically, like fitter. I thought his pressing was actually really good today. And then the quality in the box, listen, the guy's a Premier League player and just how he looks after the ball, how he flicks headers on, but he's so desperate to win and do well for the team. So um He's a brilliant player for us, but more importantly, a brilliant person. And, and I'm delighted he's got his hat trick. He tells me it's a hat trick. Um, and hopefully, there'll be a lot more to come.
it is gutting to score three goals here and, and not win or not even get a point. But from what you're saying, do you almost see it as a as a positive step based on the performance and, and what happened in particular in that second half? I just think today could have been one where when you go 2 0 down, and probably in a way where you don't feel like you should be 2 0 down, you're probably going to test whether the players are with you or not um, because they could easily fold, not run around, sulk, and they went the other way. And uh, I think. We also saw the inqualities. Like I said, this week we've had Callum Moore and we've had Jacob Maddox training. Marcel's got another probably 40 plus minutes um, under him. So we're only going to get stronger. We need to because, listen, the table doesn't lie. We've won two and drew one out of, what's that, nine games now? That's nowhere near the level we should be at. So don't get me wrong, I'm not happy. We've, we've come away, scored three goals. We lost in a game where we definitely shouldn't have lost the game. But um, there was enough belief and you could see that the players want to play for the club, the shirt, the fans. They want to, but they also play with a little bit of quality at times. So I, I think that's, um, that's some comfort anyway.